34 odd years ago, I met my husband at art school in London. At the time, I had hundreds of ribbons and small toys in my hair. I'm surprised he stuck around for so long. He wouldn't walk down the road at the same place as me. I'm more subdued these days, but the trait remains. I moved from London, where I was teaching at an art school and working in galleries, to Antigua, involved two small children and four tons of clay. The idealised transition where we lived off the sweat of our brows didn't quite work out, and I took on a full-time job at an architectural practice, whilst also developing our range of wool sconces and giftware. I'm a ceramicist. I love clay. I create in clay. I love the apparent fragility and the tactile nature of it. As you wander around our home, you will quickly notice the difference between my work and Mike's. Mine tends to be quirky and organic. My eclectic inspiration is drawn from the changing female form to sculptures inspired by our beautiful island. Moving from a community workshop in central London has had its challenges, but attending events like HubDot has made me feel a part of a community. We are now in the process of constructing a building in the end there in which we hope to host similar events as this, including paint to pot and encouraging people to discover their creative sides. I'm sure we're all looking forward to hearing people's inspiring stories, so let's go. <laughs> Thank you.